I'm Sandy Thomason. And I'm Ron Thomason. We own the Oak Island Sub Shop on Oak Island, North Carolina. We've owned the shop for about three and a half years. And uh, prior to that, Ron was a member of the PGA and um, I was an accountant. We had uh, kind of gotten a little tired of the golf business and decided to, to go a different route and uh, started looking for restaurants in the area. Uh, this one became available. It fit uh, our needs perfectly and so we decided to uh, go ahead and purchase it. It was here when we bought it, it was about 12 years, so I guess now it's been here about 15 years. And because of that, you know, we knew it was a stable business, um, well known in the area, and we thought it was, you know, it would be a good fit for, for what we were trying to do. We've, we've made some, some, some minor adjustments to what we do as far as our operations, and how, how we run everything. Um, the, the previous owners, Fred and Wil Wilma Workman, did a great job in, in, in getting it started. Um, so we just made it fit what we felt like was our, our um, forte. And probably Sandy can probably add to that a little bit. Um, cause she, she, she's done a really good job. She's the one that instrumented in the changes more than I have, so. Uh, we just changed the flow uh, back in the back of uh, the kitchen just to make it um, the flow better whenever we're taking orders and trying to get the orders out quickly. We added the wall with all of the sayings on it. It's funny, it's something to, to occupy your mind. In the summertime, this place can get pretty busy. Uh, and you may have to stand in line for a while and wait. So we thought it would be something fun for uh, people to look at and kind of take their mind off of waiting uh, when they're in here in the summertime. It's amazing how many see people you see taking pictures of the, uh, you know, taking with their camera or anything like that, taking pictures and, and things like that. It's amazing. You can be, you can read all these, but you can, you, you, you'll, you'll never remember them all. You can go back and look at them later and, and look at them and kind of laugh and stuff like that. So it's nice. We tried to to keep most of the items on the menu. Uh, there's a lot of favorites, obviously, um, for the locals, and, and we have a lot of vacationers that come back here year after year, and they look for a specific sandwich. So we tried not to mess with the menu too much. Um, we, we did feel it was necessary to take off a few of the items. We, uh, we used to have hot dogs, and um, we took those off. And there again, that was just because of the flow. In the summertime, it can get so busy in here, and you just try to make sandwiches that are going to be easy to make and, and to get down the line as quick as possible. Um, but for the most part, we have kept uh, the sandwiches just as they've been for the past 15 years. You know, with that, you know, it's, it gets busy because we all of our sandwiches because you can get them cold, you can press, you can get them hot, you, get, you can get the, just the bread toasted. So a lot going on, you know, we're not just a sub shop. Um, we, we make all of our salads in-house, our potato salad, pasta salad, shrimp salad, tuna salad, egg salad, chicken salad, and in the summertime, crab salad. So, you know, we call it Oak subs, but it's more than just, more than just subs. Plus we have a, a variety of salads as well too, in regards to just green salads. And we've added some weekly specials uh, to the menu, uh, specialty sandwiches uh, that you can get on a, on a weekly basis in the off season for our locals. So the typical day here at the sub shop, we, um, we do bake our own bread here, so we have to get in here early, get the bread baked. Uh, we have to uh, prep all the vegetables, cut all the vegetables up. Uh, you have to slice all the meats. We have to um, make all of the salads. Uh, we make most of those at least you know, every couple of days. They have to be remade. Uh, then we have breakfast at 8 a.m., so you, you have your breakfast crowd, um, which is often different. You, you, know, you, ha you tend to have the same people coming in, coming in every day for breakfast, and then the same people coming in for lunch and dinner. Um, and then you go right into your into your afternoon rush, and then it slows down a bit in the afternoon um, after the after the lunch hour in the off season. Uh, but it's busy all the way to four o'clock during the summer, so it changes a lot, uh, which is good. It's not the same all day long. You're, you've got different crowds of people and, and different things going on all day. We're both from West Virginia, as you can tell by the hat. Um, so, but. You know, we, you know, she, she spent more time with Virginia than I, and I did. You know, my parents left when I was about five, but I've been in North Carolina since 1990. Went to school at Methodist College through, through the um, PGM program. I mean, we're both on our second marriage. We both have kids. Um, I've got two daughters. You've got two sons. 
I got actually one daughter's back in the back right now. She works for us. We've been here for three and a half years. She's worked here the whole time. She's actually, um, she just turned 21 this year. She wants to be a pilot. So she takes um, piloting lessons over at the airport across the bridge. And then she works for us full time. And uh, she's she kind of um, is our everything. She She's a manager. She, she just, it's amazing. She does a great job for us. Um, we trust her completely when we're not here to run the place. Everybody loves her. The, the customers adore her. Uh, the other staff really likes her. We have a lot of local staff, obviously, just based on where we're located at. Yeah, you almost have to live on the island or close to it in order to, to make it worth your while to come here. Um, but we have great staff. We have some people that have been with us for quite a long time and they do a great job for us. Um, we've just really been blessed in that department. I'm here probably more, I'm, I'm, I'm more on, on, on boots on the ground, operations here. Um, Sandy also has a, a job up in Wilmington that she works for, a place called River Bluffs, um, does, their, does their books for them three days a week. And the other time she's doing our books and doing other things, she's put, believe me, she's doing a lot of things, even if she might not be in the store, she's doing the books, she's doing all the weekly specials, all of our, anything that we put post and things like that, she's taking care of all those things. So I couldn't, it's, it's a good fit for what we're doing. Since we've taken over, we're we're pretty open. Uh, our, what I mean by that is, is we're we're trying to make sure make sure everybody's in a good mood um, as far as the staff goes because it gets really busy and, and things like that. So this, I mean, I think the staff, I think people come back because of how they're treated. Um, that's 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 a because that's you know you can you can you can you can put a sandwich out. And make, sometimes we're going five hundred sandwiches. You, you're, you're going something's going to mess up. But as long as you're treating people well, I think they'll, they'll understand that and they'll come back. When we interview uh, new staff, we, that's the number one thing we tell them. Um, we can teach you how to make sandwiches, but we can't teach you, you know, to an extent, we can't teach you good customer service. You have to be, you have to be friendly and you, you have to be, uh, you have to like what you're doing. Uh, you have to treat our customers well, because that's the most important thing to us.